We were witnessing the antisocial behaviour ourselves. For us, especially on Princess Park, it was a big issue. Quite often we would see groups of young people walking past the houses, you could hear them on the park, obviously very drunk. Some were so inebriated they couldn't even walk, they were being dragged along by the friends. On one occasion it led to a firefighter quite seriously being beaten up uh, by around 15 to 16 of these young people. For whatever reason, people feel the need to attack firefighters. We could see all this firsthand, uh, living where we live. When you're in your own home and you're hearing this kind of stuff going on, it makes you feel scared for your family. We thought that we'd probably see what the fire service can do to try and get involved and trying to help reduce the antisocial behaviour amongst young people. I saw an opportunity to get involved at the youth centre as a firefighter with a couple of our volunteers to go up and offer basically some support to the staff that were already there. We've introduced cage soccer football units uh, across the organisation and there's one based here at Earlham and Caddy's at Fire Station. We started off every Friday night using it as a dis distraction basic activity. Whilst we understood it would be young lads uh, probably playing football more than anybody else but the young girls would come along and watch the lads playing football so there was an opportunity there then to interact with the young people to try and understand the psyche of what was going on and really try and put them off going on drinking. We reduced antisocial behaviour by 40% uh, and not only that we could see because we live on the park there was a marked reduction in the antisocial behaviour so it wasn't only alone just a percentage change, it was actually seen physically for ourselves, the change in attitude of young people on the park. We've realised that the fire service locally here at Earlham can really have a dramatic impact. What we do now is a team-based approach. At the end of every half term, all the agencies come together again, so that when we feel that the time is going to be at the hardest and the most and such behaviour is going to be happening, uh, we drop the case soccer unit into areas where we feel it's needed. Realising how important young people are in the community, we've now got a unit, firefighter cadet unit, uh, based here and we've currently got 17 uh, young people on the cadet unit and it's proven a, a massive success. It's an opportunity at once a week for the young people to come down to the fire station to learn about the fire service and in the, after the two years gain a qualification. I like it because like, we learn different stuff and we learn like what the firemen do when they go out to fires and rescues and everything. It's also teaching us to make friends and like be more social with the community and not just be in that one certain group that you're in and that we get to learn new things that can help us in like later life. I think we can guarantee a few of them will end up becoming firefighters themselves. Some have already expressed an interest in what to do after the cadet scheme is finished. There's huge amounts of work going on with young people and we hope to further that again. And we're looking to develop a climbing wall here at the fire station. But the climbing wall isn't just for young people. It will be used for the whole community. It will be free for the whole community to use. Uh, and it's basically targeting everybody's health and well-being really and improving their quality of life. We kind of got involved with the incredible edible Salford and built our own vegetable plot outside the front of the station and it's basically using your community as a growing space. It was a real opportunity for us to open the doors in the morning, see people coming along picking onions and vegetables and lettuce and really engage with them as well. Bill and Fire Station five years ago was very much just a fire station. We've grown as firefighters to understand that this is the future and it's the way to be and the more we can offer services to the community and really embed ourselves in the heart of the community the better it is for everybody and the projects with the young people have proven that. For me personally it was a, a real good achievement inside. I always you know place it on a team approach but to be the person who kind of instigated that recognised it along with others as well don't get me wrong to see a project from 
through from the beginning to the end and the impact that it can have is very, very pleasing and self-fulfilling feeling to have that you've actually put something in place and reduced antisocial behaviour and improved things for young people in the area. It's, it's a real nice feeling, <laughs> I can't put it any other way to be honest. Yeah.